Hey goalies, just wanted to do a super quick video on glove projection. Um, almost every single modern butterfly coach now is teaching goalies to keep their hands in front of their body, like not off to the side like this. And that's for a couple of reasons. Um, and the whole reason I'm doing this is because I just saw somebody who was on GGSU, they posted their windmill Wednesday, and it was it was an unnecessary windmill, but I can kind of understand why they did it because they were catching the puck towards the side of their body, down low. So your natural reaction is to want to whip it back forward. So I get why they windmilled. Um, it was also a little unnecessary. There was a little extra flair to it, but um, I, you know I was telling this guy like. Instead of turning and catching it to the side, you want to catch it out in front, and that's for two reasons. Um, the first one is tracking. When you're looking straight at something with both eyes, it's a lot easier to stay visually attached. You just see things better when you're looking directly at it. When you're turning to the side, it's a lot easier to lose visual attachment to that puck. You know, you're looking out of the corner of your eyes. So instead of turning and looking out of the corner of your eye and falling it into your glove that way, if you're keeping your hands out in front, you know, you can look directly at it. So it's better visual attachment. Um, more importantly, I think, is you're not giving the puck time to elevate. When you're turning and opening up like this, instead of catching the puck here, you're now catching the puck back here. And that's just giving the puck more time to elevate. So it's going from here all the way up here. And now you've really got to crank the shit out of your shoulder and your glove and hope that you can get it. So you're just giving the puck more time to elevate. Instead of doing that, cut the puck off. Cut the trajectory off before it has time to elevate. So you really want to, you almost want to exaggerate it when you're first learning it and get up over the puck. Get over the puck. Now, another reason is um, a windmill is kind of a wasted motion. Like if you watch NHL goalies, for the most part, most of them, it's like some still kind of have that old school kind of kick save, glove save action, um, but it's kind of wasted movement. And when you're trying to get to a puck, you don't want any wasted movement. You want A to B. You want where your hand is, A. Where the puck is going, B. You want to get there as quickly as possible. So that kind of, that circular motion where you're almost going down and then back up, it's wasted movement. You're wasting time. So instead, keep your hands out in front and just go like that. You know, put, move your hands in a straight line. Be efficient with your movement. Get over the puck like this. Instead of windmilling that one, catch it like this. Like you'll see a lot of goalies that are doing that now. And they make look they make saves look easy that really aren't. You know, because they're just like instead of being like windmilling the shit out of it. So just um, just a little helpful tip um, I've seen from a bunch of other goalie coaches. Um, it's something I've been working on, uh, and it's definitely pretty helpful if you can uh, get used to it. It's funny, like two or three years ago, I posted a Windmill Wednesday video to GGSU and just got absolutely roasted. Absolutely roasted. And I was all defensive, and I'm like, you're, you're haters, fuck you guys, blah, blah, blah. And they were right. I like, I, it was completely unnecessary to windmill like I guess I was mad because I didn't think I was doing it to show off you know what I mean it was just kind of like a, a natural motion but the again the problem was the way I was catching the puck you know and another thing I didn't really talk about in the beginning is just having like a calm glove you know, anytime something like enters your glove, you don't have to like windmill the shit out of it. You can just kind of relax your glove in and, uh, you know, doing that and holding it out front, you'll, you'll actually play better like some of these pictures.